Hello there, this is Fenny Rob. Today we're going to be doing a two-player playthrough of The Lord of the Rings Journey to Mordor, a game for two to four players by Fantasy Flight Games. It's a pressure luck dice game where we're all hobbits, but we're not cooperating. We want to destroy the ring, but we want to be the ones who do it. In this game, I'll be playing a two-player game. It'll be Frodo versus Samwise. In the game, we're going to be rolling these dice. All the dice are the same except for the black die, and I'll show you in a second. Basically, we're trying to fill up these circles and get the ring all the way to Mordor before the Nazgul find us and corrupt us. So if we make it to Mordor with the circles, we win unless the Nazgul get us first. Basically, rings will move us along the track. Nazgul will fill these squares. Fellowship will protect us from the orcs. Each of these will cancel out each other, but if there are more orcs left over at any point at the end of the, the turn, they will, they will destroy all rings that are in there. So if we had four rings and one orc, none of the rings would count for us. There is another helpful die face, and that is Gandalf. And what Gandalf does, it actually buys you more time by having these squares so that the Nazgul have to fill in more boxes and it'll take them longer to hurt us. The only other die face uh, is this Tree of Gondor. On the black die there is no Gandalf, but there is the Tree of Gondor and that basically allows you to end your turn prematurely if you like what you have. I'm not going to really explain any more. You'll see as we go along, so I'll go ahead and get started. Frodo, of course, will get to go first. And what we do is we roll all of these dice. We have to keep any Nazgul we roll. Here we haven't rolled any. Otherwise, the only restriction we have is we cannot keep duplicate die faces on the same roll. But this is a really good roll for Sam's first roll. What he's going to do is he is going to take one ring. He wishes he can take them both, but he can't. Uh, he will take this Gandalf because he'll be able to, again, buy himself more time. He will take this Fellowship in case any Orcs are rolled. And then uh, he could keep this other Gandalf. And you know what? I think he will. So all he has to do is roll this last die. And of course he gets a Nazgul, which is bad. But this isn't a terrible roll to start off. The first thing we'll do is we'll fill in these boxes for Gandalf. Then we will fill in a Nazgul and see normally it would fill up a whole box but now because of Gandalf it only fills up that half. Um, and then we'll take the one one of the rings and we fill in Rivendell. There's an advanced variant of the game where the places you stop actually will add some rules but for right now I'm just going to do a playthrough for the basic game. Here the fellowship die really doesn't matter because there were no orcs rolled. And that's it for Frodo's turn. Now it will be Sam's turn. Sam rolls the dice. Again, he has to keep at least one Nazgul if he rolls them, and he does. Then he doesn't want to keep any orcs, and he doesn't have to. He will keep Gandalf and one fellowship, just in case he's going to start off conservative, hoping that if he gets another ring, he can at least protect himself from any orcs. He rolls again. This is uh, not good. He gets a Nazgul. He has to keep it, and obviously he wants to re-roll this, and he, he'd like to get a ring if he can. He doesn't get a ring, but he gets another Gandalf. So what he's going to do is he'll fill in two Gandalf boxes. He has two Nazgul, and again, they'll fill up a half and a half. And that's it. He has no rings. Poor Sam. Now it's back to Frodo. Frodo gets himself a ring. He also has a Nazgul that he's going to have to keep. Um, he will keep this Gandalf, but he's feeling pretty bold. No, he's not. Frodo would never take a chance if he didn't have to. He's just going to re-roll this one die. And look at that. It pays off. He'll get to fill in two rings. He'll get one Gandalf, and he has one Nazgul that he has to fill in, and he'll go ahead and fill it in up here. Again, this fellowship doesn't matter because we didn't get any orcs. 
back to Sam. Sam needs some rings, he gets them. Now this is pretty interesting. Sam gets a ring. He has no Nazgul, so he doesn't have to set them aside. And he does have the Tree of Gondor. He could stop right here. He only gets to keep this one ring because he can't keep the uh, same die face on the same roll. But it does allow him to stop if he wants to. He could just take one ring and move on with his life. But that's not really what the game's about. I think he's going to go ahead and keep this one, and he's just going to keep rolling. He wants more rings. Sam's feeling lucky. And look at that. It pays off. He's going to take this green one, and I'll show you why that matters later. It has something to do with Nazgul. Here, um, he, doesn't, he can't keep that other ring because that would be two of the same die face, and he doesn't want to keep the orc, so he's going to go ahead and roll these two. Sam's on fire. Uh, not literally. Hopefully he won't be on fire when he destroys the ring if he does. He has to keep the Nazgul, and of course he wants to keep the ring. This is a really good roll for Sam. He's going to advance all the way to Lothlorien, and he's going to have to take one Nazgul in that half box. Again, the Fellowship doesn't matter. Uh, basically, if, if they're in a two-player game, any Nazgul that uh, don't match the opposing player's color will affect you. So basically, any color uh, except for yellow is bad for Sam, and any color except for red is bad for Frodo. If, if Frodo rolls a red Nazgul, it's actually going to hurt Sam. So that's uh, pretty interesting. We're going to go back to Frodo. Now Sam's tied him up. And we have one Nazgul that we have to keep. We'll keep one Gandalf. And we're going to keep a yellow Gandalf because, again, that protects us from a Nazgul hurting ourselves. And we'll go ahead and re-roll the rest of these. We have an orc and two orcs and one Gandalf. We have to keep one. We're going to keep Gandalf, of course. We need some rings. No rings. We get a fellowship. We'll go ahead and keep the green fellowship because if this comes up a Nazgul, it will hurt Sam. And we roll, and it's another Gandalf. So here we're going to have three Gandalfs, or Gandalf, however you say it. And um, we're going to fill in one Nazgul. Once we fill up all the boxes for the Nazgul with Gandalfs, we will not uh, be able to use him anymore. So he's only got two more to help uh, Frodo with. And that's it. The Fellowship doesn't matter. And back to Sam. Sam is going to take one Nazgul. And I think he's just going to go ahead and roll the rest of these. He gets another Nazgul. Sam's slowing down a bit here. He'll take one Gandalf. He'll take his own so he can't uh, roll a Nazgul and leave Frodo's in play. He rolls again. Boy, he is just having a bad round. And he'll go ahead and roll this last one. Just a bad round all around. This doesn't matter because there's no rings, but uh, he gets one Gandalf, which is good, and three Nazgul, which is bad. Poor Samwise. All right, Frodo gets to go. No rings. There's a dearth of rings. He's going to reroll the rest of those. Doesn't matter if you have orcs, if you don't have any rings. There's a ring. He's definitely going to keep that, and he has to keep a Nazgul. Um, he will protect himself with this fellowship, and he will go ahead and re-roll this one. And he gets an orc, so it doesn't matter. This is, this is a wash. He does get two Nazgul, which is bad, but he gets another ring, which is good, and he's made it to Rohan. Now it's back to Sam, who's a little bit behind, but he's still in the game. Sam rolls and promptly gets a ring. He also takes a Nazgul. Um, he could stop here, but he, he really can't because that orc's going to hurt him, and, and why not? He will keep this Gandalf, 
and he'll roll the other two. Oof. All right, well, he gets this yellow, which he's going to keep, and unfortunately for Frodo, that's Frodo's color. He doesn't have to keep this one, so that's not so bad for Sam. Sam rolls, gets the Tree of Gondor. Yay, he gets to end his turn, but he would be doing that anyway. So he gets one ring, one Gandalf, and a Nazgul. Meanwhile, poor Frodo takes a surprise Nazgul in the chops. Back to Frodo. All right, he finally gets some rings. He'll go ahead and keep the yellow one. He does get a Nazgul, and he will take the Fellowship to protect himself. He sure wishes he could take that ring, but he can't because it's a double. He rolls again. Not terrible. He will keep a blue Fellowship because it really doesn't matter. And now he'll roll, and he gets a Nazgul which is bad. So he gets two Nazgul and one ring. Two Nazgul, one ring. Now it's back to Sam. Sam rolls. He's got to take a Nazgul. Unfortunately, it's his own color and not Frodo's again. The rest of these, I think he'll keep one Gandalf and then he'll roll the rest of them. Sam gets no rings. He will keep the Tree of Gondor because he doesn't want any orcs. He needs rings. He gets no rings. He'll keep a Fellowship because at least it's not an orc. And now anything but a Nazgul is okay. This is basically a, a, not a great turn for Sam, but not the worst. He'll fill that uh, with Gandalf and then fill in another Nazgul. Kind of stalled out. He's enjoying his time in Rohan. He doesn't want to move on. Let's see what Frodo does. Frodo gets him a ring. He also gets a Nazgul. And he's definitely going to re-roll those. And he gets another ring. He likes to play it safe. He could end his turn right here, but I don't think he needs to. I think he's going to go ahead and take that to protect himself in case he does roll another one of these. But he surely would like to roll a ring. He doesn't, but it's Gandalf, and that's pretty good as well. So we'll go ahead and fill in his Gandalf, and he gets two rings. He's all the way to Minas Tirith, and he gets one Nazgul, and he's going to fill that in. All right, Sam better quit loafing around. All right, he gets off the schneid with a ring, and he also takes a Nazgul, and he'll take the red one. Um, the rest of these he is not going to, well, he's running out of time. He's going to gamble. He could keep Gandalf, but he's just going to go for it and hope he gets rings and nothing bad. Not the way it works. He has to keep this Nazgul, but he definitely wants to roll these orcs. He needs more rings. He doesn't get one, but he gets this fellowship. He'll hold on to that. And... Another Nazgul. Sam is not looking good, folks. All right. Well, he has no Gandalfs, and he has three Nazgul, so he goes one, two, three. He's in danger, and he gets one ring. Not the one ring, but one of the one rings. Back to Frodo. All right, Frodo's going to have to take that, and he will also take, let's say, a blue fellowship and he will roll the rest of those it's a pretty quick game all right he's got to keep these he'll go ahead and keep a yellow and he will roll these still no rings but another Nazgul maybe Sam's not out of it yet Frodo surely would like a ring well he gets a Gandalf so that's going to be his last Gandalf he gets two Nazgul and no rings. So back to Sam. Sam gets a ring and he can't keep this other one and he can't really stop because that orc will negate those and I think what he'll do is just keep on rolling. No, he's gonna need this to help him keep the Nazgul at bay. He'll keep a Gandalf, he rolls again, he gets another ring Sam still in the hunt, 
and we can reroll these. No ring, but he does get a fellowship and a Nazgul. I think he's just going to go ahead and keep it this way. Actually, the Nazgul hurts Frodo, so that helps Fran. Uh, Fran <laughs> helps Sam. Um, he does get two rings, so he's good there. He's in Minas Tirith as well. Uh, he has no Nazgul, and Frodo though does. All right, this is getting interesting. It's pretty much tied up. Slight advantage at this point to Sam because of his Gandalf help. I'm sorry, to Frodo. Man. All right, no rings. We're in Frodo's turn now. He's going to go ahead and keep that just in case. And that is it. He doesn't need any more Gandalfs. He really needs some rings. He rolled no Nazgul, so that's good. All right, there's a ring. He'll take this one. And he won't use anything else. He wishes he could use that, but he can't. He can only use non-doubles. He rolls again, gets another ring. Uh-oh, this could be it. As long as he doesn't die, he's going to win the game. Um, he does have to keep that, so that's bad. And you know what? He doesn't need anything else, so he's just going to go ahead and keep this because it's canceled out by the Fellowship. So... What happens now is uh, Frodo takes his Nazgul and he gets all the way to Mordor and he will win the game unless somehow Sam can pull it out here. All right, it's time for Sam's last chance. For the record, the tiebreaker, if Sam makes it to Mordor here, will be who has the most empty spaces still left in their Nazgul box. Uh, right now, Frodo has three, so unless Sam gets at least one Gandalf, he's going to lose no matter what. He's got his work cut out for him. Let's see what happens. Well, he starts off strong. He's got a ring. Um, he starts off real strong. He's got a ring. He's got a Gandalf. And he also has a yellow Nazgul. So you can actually reach Mordor on your own turn and then die in another player's turn although that's not going to happen here, but it does actually fill in another box for Frodo. We might as well go ahead and do that just to keep it exciting. So right now, um, Sam's going to make it if he gets one more ring. Um, and let's see if he can. He doesn't have to keep this other Nazgul. Sam really needs another ring. He doesn't get it. He has to keep one. The good news, well, there is no good news. He either needs a ring or the game is over. Can Sam do it? This is all or nothing. If he rolls a ring, he wins. He does not. All right, well, that cancels out. Sam makes it all the way uh, between Minas Tirith and Mordor. And Frodo ends up winning. So that's how you play the basic game. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'll probably do another video with the advanced rules. If you enjoyed this video, Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and you'll get all the other game content. There's also some nature videos and uh, some relaxing music that you can listen to while you play your games. Thanks for watching.